Hello everyone, welcome back to Mastering Bahasa, your best channel to learn Bahasa Indonesia like a pro. With me, Lian. Well, guys, I hope you still excited to see me here, and also I hope you still eager to learn more about Bahasa Indonesia. So, guys, today I'm wearing glasses. I hope you like it. So, which one do you prefer? I'm wearing glasses or not? You can drop your comment down below. Okay, okay, guys, that's not important at all. Well, today uh, let's continue our lesson by learning Indonesian pronouns. We're going to talk about what's the difference between kami and kita. Stay tuned in this channel. Okay, guys. Uh, we are going to talk about the difference between kami and kita and actually those two pronouns in Bahasa Indonesia is quite similar but actually different word because in English those two pronouns literally translated we in English but yeah most of uh, foreigners who are trying to learn Indonesia they still feel they feel confused uh, about the difference between kami and kita but according to Indonesian dictionary kami and kita is personal promina for plural noun this means that both words are used to represent speakers who are more than one even though both represent plural speakers but the use of kami and kita is different so what is the difference between those two words uh, let's check it out Okay guys, let's start with the use of kami in Bahasa Indonesia. Well, in simple ways, kami means we but not you. But it can also mean us but you are excluded. It can be translated us but you are excluded. This can be said that kami is the plural first person pronoun which has inclusive characteristic because the person you are talking to is excluded from the activities or conditions are being told. The word kami only refers to the first person speakers. For example, like this. Edo dan Sandi. Jai, kami akan pergi ke perpustakaan sebentar. Jai, baiklah, nanti aku akan bilang ke dosen. From the examples that I mentioned before, the conversation involved Edo, Sandi, and also Jay as the characters. But the word kami does not represent all of them. The first person pronoun only represents Edo and Sandi as the speakers, even though only one of them who speaks. Okay guys, you understand right? Now let's proceed to the use of kita in Bahasa Indonesia. Okay guys, the word kita is the first person pronoun, but it includes the person or persons you are talking to. In simple, it can be translated as we in English. The word kita has exclusive characteristic in which the speaker includes listeners in the activity or some conditions. For example, like this. Tina, Lala, kita jadi pergi ke mall hari ini. Lala. Iya jadi, ayo kita berangkat sekarang. From the conversation before, uh, the word kita represents Rina as the speakers and also Lala as the listeners. So, kita means both Rina and Lala. Well guys, now you already know the difference between kita and kami in Bahasa Indonesia. I hope you could understand the difference uh, through this video. Okay guys, uh, I hope this video could be very useful for you. Don't forget to share this video to your friends too. And also don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. And if you have some interesting topic for me to bring here, don't forget to drop your topic in the comment section down below. Okay guys, happy learning and, and I hope you're still excited to learn even more with Indonesian language. See you in next video. Bye!